All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, have a, a new tuna from Carlos. My friend and I traded uh, tunas. I have a current generation Seiko Tuna SBBN 049 with a uh, flat sapphire. And he has my uh, six-year-old 033, which has a domed hardlex. Now this is on an end mill. I'm going to take it off, put it back on the original. I'm finding the, uh, and I'm not feeling the end mill. Could be the color match. And uh, this is the previous generation, 031, with the domed hardlex. Now 95% of Seiko fanboys for tuna prefer the previous generation because the domed hardlex with the the Marine Master uh, speaks to them. Interestingly, Carlos bought this watch brand new for fifteen hundred. He couldn't even sell it for nine hundred. So I do know that the tuna community is not a fan of this. Now I did the trade knowing that my 033 had a special look with a polished case and with the domed hardlex, but I did the trade anyway. I'm happy with the trade. Number one, I like the, the handset, which Bruce Williams compares to Grand Seiko. Uh, I don't have a problem with the, the broad sapphire. Interestingly, the flat sapphire made this watch look bigger on uh, Carlos's wrist. He had the 033 twice before. And so, I'll just leave it like this. So he, he knew that this played bigger. It's an optical illusion because the flat sapphire makes the, the uh, dial look bigger. And so he really wanted to do the trade because it, it was just too big on his wrist. I was happy to get a sapphire version, even though I knew that the, the tuna community does not desire this one as much as previous generations. Uh, this one has bigger loom dots on it. And you know, I do have a previous gen in the 031, so I got a uh, two generations of tuna now. Uh, I did a loom test last night, and this was just as good as the 033. I had heard reports that this was slightly less, but I, I, did, I, I didn't notice a difference. I mean, I could hold the 031 and this uh, new 049 side by side if I wanted to. Uh, I think I'll put the original back on the 049. The uh, the uh, the sapphire is great though. I mean, I, I'm, I've been a tuna fan for about a decade, and now that I have it in sapphire, feeling pretty good about it. Uh, Carlos is happy with the 033. He lives in Covina. I live in Torrance, so we did this by mail. The drive can can be a, a bit a bit crazy. So there you have it. Two tunas, two different generations. And uh, the trade is on. Alright, I'll probably do a full review later on. And until next time, I'm out.